Hello, and welcome to Judge Jilly. Hey y'all, I know it's been a while. I'm not apologizing, I'm just kind of acknowledging it. Thank you so much for going to my website and reading my opinion essays. I know that you're going there because when I post a video, on the rare occasion that I do post a video, my analytics for my website go way up. It tells me how many people went here, how many people clicked this link, how many people, on uh, how, how many things did people look at on average. Like how many times did you click something different on my page? The number is usually two point something. That means that I earned the privilege of your time, you know, for you to read something else. I, thank you. But I went to a lot of work to obtain all of the information to write those essays. And you are open-minded people that are looking for more information on those subjects. And I appreciate that you are using the information that I'm providing for you. Not everyone has the natural drive to find more information. Why, why, why is it like this? How can we change it? How can we make it better? So thank you for using the resources that I'm giving you. For the people that have not visited my website, um, you can register to vote there. You can check to see if you are registered to vote there. There are mental health resources there. There are statistic websites on there so you can check things out. I think you can check COVID numbers there. There's a plethora of social resources that you can find on my website. I have a fear of being useless. I want to be helpful to people. With that, I got my ballot for the mail today. This is the official election mail. I sent in my, my mail-in vote for, uh, application, and this, so this is my response. I think this is my ballot. So I'm really excited that that came today. I hope everybody did the same or is doing the same. You need to do this now. Vote early. It's going to be a shit show. I need to go talk to my parents. I'll be right back. Okay. After speaking with my parents, who determined that my mother is always right, dear voter, vote by mail problem. The signature on your vote by mail application does not match the signature that we have on file for you. That's because I'm no longer a child. So if this happens to you, you'll have to go to City Hall and vote uh, early. That's really easy. Um, there are specific polling times. I will try to find a resource where you can go and search your county and to figure out what times that you can go to vote early. If you don't want to do that or you can't do that, then just go vote in person. But just please vote. Please, 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 for fuck's sake, please vote. Life has been handing me so many lemons. I feel like I'm hungover from all the lemonade I'm making. Glam vibes only. That's our theme this month. I feel like that's pretty generic. <laughs> Probably throw whatever you wanted in this box and it would fit in that theme. Pretty smart. So the first thing that we have is the Milk Makeup uh, Watermelon Brightening Serum Stick. It says it is the world's first serum stick. I don't know if that's true, but using the logic of our current government, I have no proof that it's not true. I have a lot of things that I enjoy using, so I usually cocktail it up inside of a moisturizer and. That's like literally how I do it. I suppose you would take this, you make that noise too, and sort of press it in. I would love to try this in a serum, it's just not really my thing. I like their eyelash serum. I talk, I talk about this all the time. It burns the shit out of my eyes, but, but it does work. You have to be so careful. Don't cry, because it'll just make you cry more because it burns, and then you wash it all off. Now we have to put it on again. The next product that we have is from Osea. Osi? I like to say Osea, I think it's more fun. Atmosphere Protection Cream. I like the idea of this, because there's pollution in the air, we know that, right? And it's gotta be in there, it's gotta go into the pores, it adds up. So, I like the idea of this, but I feel like, how are we supposed to know that this is actually doing anything for you? Unless you really do see a significant improvement just from it protecting your skin from the atmosphere, but I don't even know how it does that. Light and luxurious, hydrates and provides protection against environmental stressors that visibly damage skin. Organic seaweed, shea butter, and avocado oil moisturize and firm skin with a matte finish. I don't know if this has a matte finish. I have tried this for a few days and I do like it. I like the way that it feels. It's nice. And it's in a nice glass bottle. I appreciate that. It's better for the environment. You can break it down and recycle that. The next thing that we have is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt freestyle highlighter in Metal Moon. I think this is absolutely beautiful. I'll show it to you. Let's swatch it. 
I also brought over the trophy wife one so you guys can kind of see. I got this around Christmas time. <laughs> I've used it one time, um, but that one is straight up gold. You know, it's like chunky glitter. I just dropped Metal Moon. No, I didn't. I broke trophy wife. <laughs> Let's go see the damage. Here's the damage. I lost half of Trophy Wife. <laughs> Actually, not half. It's a very clean third of Trophy Wife. Next product. This is the Cuccio <laughs> Yoga Calm and Clean Epsom Salt Hand and Body Wash. I hate the idea of this. Why in the world would you make a hand and body wash? Am I going to take this from my sink to my shower every time, and then from my shower to my sink, like, I don't, you're gonna choose it for one or the other, right? So then I'm gonna look at the price and I'm gonna see. If I'm gonna use it as a hand wash, $39.95 for a hand wash. Shampoo and body wash? That would make sense to me, but it's not, and I don't understand. I don't want this. Okay, the next item that we have is this Hip Dot palette. Ooh, I like the packaging. It is called the Zion palette. I don't know if you guys have ever been to Zion. It is in Utah. It's beautiful. Wow! Zion! I don't know if this reminds me of Zion. The makeup companies these days are just pumping things out one after another. When there are things that are collectible that I think will be worth money, sometimes I do purchase them, such as the Selena collection from MAC Cosmetics. In 20 years, that's never been open, not once. I'm gonna put that on the internet and someone is gonna pay Three thousand. Somebody is gonna pay five thousand dollars for that highlighter. People were paying five hundred dollars for that bag that came out one with the Bustier, the rhinestones. People were selling counterfeit ones, and not only that, but this collection was a shit show. I actually really enjoyed the uh, lip liner and Stray on Me Mundo, uh, but the rest of it was just like even the lipstick smelled off. I think they rushed it, and I feel like it wasn't a, as good of a quality as the rest of their products usually are. Now that I've gone on my rant about how eyeshadow palettes and makeup companies in general are just disappointing. Next product that we have is <laughs> Persona. I've never heard of this brand. It is vegan and gluten free. It's a lip gloss. It is called Honey. I like the packaging. I just don't like lip gloss. Here's the shade. This is what it looks like. Now we have the 111 Skin set of five sheet masks. I really want to talk about this. So these are supposed to be brightening. I love brightening products because I have some old um, acne scarring here. It's almost gone, actually. I've been working on it for quite a while. This brand has pretty good reviews, and it's really expensive. These are a single-use... Hold on. Hold, please. There's five of these in here. They're single-use masks, and you, and you take them out, and you lay them on your face. And, and then they're supposed to infuse, you know, help brighten up that stuff up. There's five of them, one-time sheet masks. This retails for $125. In what world? Even if I loved it, I could not, I would not buy this box. The last thing we're going to talk about, I saved it for last on purpose, the Biro Tomato Serum. One ounce of product in here. Tomato Serum is a highly concentrated treatment serum. The hydrating formula visibly reduces the appearance of imperfections and improves the look of skin texture for a soft, smooth, and clarified complexion. I have tried this. I have put it on for a few days now, and I actually do like the way that it feels. It's plastic. $150? It's made out of acrylic. This is going to go into a landfill somewhere, and it's never going to break down. It's $150. If I'm going to pay that much money, then I can afford to make those better decisions. This retailed for like, what, maybe $40? This has a glass bottle. It's not too expensive. Biro Tomato Serum retails for $150. Hip Dot Zion Eyeshadow Palette retails for $30. The Persona Cosmetics Season 1 Lip Gloss retails for $16. The Osea Malibu Atmosphere Protection Cream retails for $48. The Rihanna Kilowatt this retails for $36. And the Cuccio <laughs> Somatology Calm Plus Clean Lavender Body Plus Hand Wash is $39.95. Um, and the 111 Skin Rose Gold Brightening Facial Treatment Masks 5-Pack is $135. This box altogether has a total retail value of $490.95, and I paid $50 for the box. I feel like for $150, I should have a new face by the end of the month. Was it worth it? You guys decide. I'm going to write a blog about it, and I'll decide too. So uh, I'm going to stop this video now, and I'm going to start my next one. <laughs>